dudes it is a beautiful sunny morning on the Isle of Wight and I'm about to undertake about a 10 mile walk it's the Wooten circular walk via Haven Street with the main aim of trying to see a steam train so I can cross it off in the spotter's handbook excellent this should take me I don't know about four hours I need to try and get back in time for the bus to take me home because as usual, the buses from Rye to Benbridge where I live uh, every hour. Brilliant. All right, let's not muck about. Let's get going. Good luck everyone, especially me. Already there's a heron in the water. This walk has been taken from our good friend, Martin Simons, Walk the White or Walk the Isle of Wight or something like that. I'll put a link below. And regular viewers, might remember I've had some trouble with some of Martin Simon's routes because they are a little outdated. Let's see how we go on this walk, Martin. <laughs> The Isle of Wight was recently ravaged, that's a good alliteration, by some of the worst storms that we've seen in years. Storm Eunice hit the island and there were speeds recorded at the ne needles of 122 miles an hour. A victim of Storm Eunice here. This is pretty cool. A 19th century ice house. The Fernhill House, which was burnt down in 1938. And now it's a perfect place for hibernating bats. I once went on a holiday to a friend's house in France. And when I opened up the cupboard in the bedroom, there was a bat in the cupboard. It was pretty cool, actually. Oh, I seem to remember you were terrified and you were too scared to sleep in the room. Well, maybe I was a little bit scared. No, you clearly refused to stay in the room until the bat had gone. Oh, all right, just stop ruining everything, sunglasses, Marek. I recently wrote a blog called Dudes about a YouTube walker called Amib and how it's quite difficult to find his walks because YouTube just promotes the same stuff you watch over and over again. So I'd like to ask you viewers, who are your favourite YouTubers that I should watch? Please put them down below. I'll be very interested to um, have a look at them. My favourites are uh, Van Neistat, who is Casey Neistat's brother. In terms of walkers, I quite like Craig Adams' videos. I also watch lots of fountain pen reviews. And I also like watching System Skynet. I've got a badge here. And Jag Betty, who are pretty cool as well as lots of other walkers. I'll list all my favourites down below. Heading into some more uninhabited areas where the path does not match the route that is mapped out by Martin Simon. I could try and go through there, I suppose. Oh God. <laughs> This is it. Martin Simon's boggy path. I, I think I was better off doing my own walk through the woods. 
I imagine Martin Simon sitting there counting all his money from his thousands of walking books. What's all the noise? While well, thousands of walkers are lost in the woods, trapped in bogs, all thanks to Martin Simon. dog here just tried to attack me because I walked through the public footpath here. Luckily the pink stick came to my rescue. I'm pretty glad that dog wasn't bigger because otherwise it would have been terrifying. As it was, it's probably about 80 years old. But nonetheless, another example of Martin Simon leading us into danger. I feel as though the walkers turned a bit into me just being angry with Martin Simon. But walking through working farms is probably my least favourite bit of walking. Because I'm worried about dogs, cows and angry farmers. And they often aren't marked out very well. What is your least favourite thing to walk through, cool dudes? Please write below. Nice one. I don't know what it says about me, cool dudes, but as soon as I walk past the sheep, they all literally start going to the toilet. Uh-oh. Looks like one of them is ready for a standoff. How about you just crap yourself now? There we go, did it. There we go, literally did it. What are you going to do? Just tell it again. Excuse me, I've got a problem. All my sheep are constipated. Don't worry, I know a guy who can help. I oh, know the steam railway's that way. But the route sent me to go that way. A disaster. Huh. Have you listened to any good podcasts lately? Yes, my favourite podcasts are Tadpole Tales and I do like um, Algae and Friends. <laughs> they don't really talk about anything as such, but they always have such a good laugh. Please let there be a steam train. Cool horse sculpture, dudes. Heading into the last bit of the walk now. I've just received an email telling me that an exciting parcel has arrived at home. You have to see what's inside it in the prize draw at the end of the video. This is more like it. A peaceful wood after a quite stressful walk. much enjoyed my ham and mustard roll. In fact, mustard is growing a lot more on me as I get older. I have it on most things now, maybe because my taste buds are dying. But what things other than red wine have you started to enjoy as you've got older? Please write them below, cool dudes. Back on the road to Wotton now. What have we learned from this walk? Mainly that sheep instantly crap themselves when they see me. And that is about it. A bit disappointing. If you're coming to visit the Isle of Wight, there are better walks to do. That's all I'd say. Nice one, cool dudes. 9.93 miles, four hours and 50 minutes. I'm right by a busy road now. I mean, that sort of sums up the whole walk, really. 
Don't forget you can join the club on the website and also via YouTube. You get two different things depending on how you join. A membership pack via the website and if you join by YouTube you get to see videos that otherwise you wouldn't see and also great emojis. Oh, who could ask for more than that? Right, thanks very much to everyone who's joined. It's time for the prize draw. Hopefully I'll get my bus in time. That's about it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Stay cool. Yes, my friends, your eyes do not deceive you. This is the Cool Dudes Walking Club beanie, now available on the website. It's just so comfortable and classy. The colour is bottle green. Pretty nice, right? And what's this? Yes, only a Cool Dudes Walking Club organic ring spun cotton t-shirt. The stable cool ones had to wait for about three months until they've arrived. So I got these ones in the meantime. They're a bit more expensive because they're better quality organic t-shirts. So that's why they're more expensive on the website. Apologies. Anyway, if you'd like to get those, please go ahead. There's only very limited stock of these because I didn't know whether people would buy them. So I only bought about 23 or something. Anyway, it's time for the prize draw. But before then, the emoji for the YouTube members is a sheep. The new emoji, just that one there. Pretty nice, right? Okay, well, currently there are 743 members on the website and 133 members on YouTube, giving a total of 876. What is the prize this time? Yes. Only one of these beanies. Pretty good, right? Random number generator. <laughs> Generate me a number. Generate 604. Congratulations, cool dude, 604. One of these is on its way in the post to you. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Buy all the merchandise if you would like. And most importantly, stay cool.